continuing today's 30 and 15. Class 1A, six man Division I Sands. A bump up in classification will certainly be an adjustment for the Mustangs, but with a new coach comes a new attitude, and the folks from Ackerley are ready for whatever comes next. The Sands Mustangs are turning the page in 2022. The program ascends to Division I, where they find themselves in a district with three of the top ten ranked six-man teams in Texas. To begin this new era of higher-level district play, Sands hired first-year head coach Ty Keith, who believes quality opponents will make the Mustangs better. Uh, iron sharpens iron, I believe that. And so we're, we're going to be ready to go by district time. And hopefully, you know, we can get in there and go compete with those guys, and then we'll see what happens. We're not really intimidated just because they're good. I mean, yeah, they're ranked good, but we're not intimidated. We're like, we take one step by the way and just give it all we got. Keith takes over a team who made the playoffs in District 2 last year with a winning district record. He's already made an impression on the seniors who believe he's the coach to make the program better by doing it his way. He's really loud. He yells even when he tries to normal talk. He hypes everybody up even when we do wrong. He pushes us way harder than I've ever been pushed. And uh, our workouts have been way harder, like just uh, lengthwise and pushing ourselves. And uh, I like him a lot. Uh, I think we'll, he'll teach us some good stuff throughout the year. If the Mustangs are going to make any noise this year, they'll need to lean on their biggest strength, running the ball. An experienced line and a stable of backs has Sands believing they got a shot every week. We've got some really good running backs. Uh, we got Michael Diaz and Chewy Porras and Xavier Cisneros and Anthony Haston. You know, our line has steadily improved. I really like our line. I got two juniors and a senior on the line right now. My goal is is that we were a whole lot better football team by the end of the year than we were at the beginning of the year. I'm ready to see our development as the season goes.